Leading up our first panel this morning is Academy Award winning actor and longtime JDRF advocate, Kevin Klein. Together, JDRF and the federal government have made and will continue to make powerful partners in advancing research to cure, treat, and prevent type 1 diabetes. Since I testified here before this panel 10 years ago, more than 40 of the genes have been discovered which put people at risk for type 1 diabetes. Numerous therapies to halt the autoimmune attack which causes type 1 diabetes are being tested in human clinical trials. New therapies have also been shown not only to halt the progression of diabetic eye disease, but also to improve the vision in those who already suffer from it. And finally, the artificial pancreas has gone from being merely a theory to a cutting edge technology that has been shown in early trials to prevent dangerous low and high blood sugars. In other countries, there are devices now available that take the first step in this process by automatically shutting off the insulin pump when someone is going low. This is an important step, one that we need to take in the United States right now. And we can do more than that. JDRF and federally funded research have, in hospital settings, tested artificial pancreas technologies that automatically turn insulin both on and off, and the results have been overwhelmingly positive. The next step is testing these artificial pancreas devices in real-world settings. To do this without delay, however, the FDA needs to, provide, needs to provide clear and reasonable guidance. Many of the world's best diabetes researchers and leading clinician organizations have joined together with JDRF to propose artificial pancreas guidance to the FDA. And the majority of the Senate and the House have urged the FDA to give this proposal immediate consideration. We now need the FDA to act. Parents who are up every night and worrying every day about their children simply cannot afford to wait any longer. Our next panel of witnesses consists of children who know firsthand the burdens of living with diabetes. Last October, I enrolled in a clinical trial testing artificial pancreas technology. For two days, I was admitted into a hospital where they tested the closed-loop artificial pancreas system. After participating in clinical research since I was three years old, I can honestly say the closed-loop artificial pancreas trial was the most amazing experience of my life and holds so much promise for people living with this disease. For two days, I had perfect control of my blood sugar levels. Two days of living with this technology provided me with a vision of what life could be like. Life with far less complications, both short and long term. Creation of an artificial pancreas is within reach. I know it. I've been a part of it. And I will do all I can to get it into the hands of people living with diabetes. And I hope you will too. So, on the day the artificial pancreas is finally approved and released, people with this disease can say, Diabetes. There's an app for that. <laughs> While we wait for a cure, I hope to see that more technologies are made available for kids like me. One of the delegates here is from Canada and has a kind of insulin pump continuous glucose monitoring system that protects against episodes of hypoglycemia when the patient is ignoring the dropping sugar levels. With this ability to stop insulin delivery when it detects a low blood sugar, this pump could lighten the burden and the worry for me and those around me. This technology is approved in Canada and in other countries, but not here in the United States. It is hard for me to understand how a device like that can be available in a place just over the border for me. Unlike other kids, I have to check my blood sugar eight to 10 times a day Everything I eat is measured and every carbohydrate counted. My blood sugar kit, juice, glucagon, and keto trips go with me everywhere I go. It is hard when I go to summer camp or do a sleepover or even go to a friend's house. Too much exercise or not eating all my food can be very dangerous. 
I think I'm too young to have to worry about all this stuff. <laughs> my parents have had to adjust their life because of my diabetes. Well, I say we all have it, not just me. Managing diabetes is a 24-hour job. We are doing our part to help find a cure by raising money for the JDRF walk. I'm here to ask you to continue to do your part and fund research to find a cure. I think this entire panel deserves another round of applause. <laughs>